What's happening with fellow geeks on the internet? I'm Tian coming at you with another video. This time I've got a uh, custom figure review, as this isn't a figure that I've made, but it's a, a Labs 9 minifig, um, which I bought. So it's a pad printer minifigure, and I know I said I was going to do the Bat Bunker showcase, but I haven't actually finished that yet. Still got to add a couple of things and tweak a couple of things in the Bat Bunker, and then I'll do a video on that. And this one, this figure came in today, so I thought, why not do a review of this figure? As I've actually been eyeing this figure for a while, and then I, uh, you know, finally got around to buying him. So yeah, uh, towards the end of the video, I'll show you some upgrades I'm going to add to this figure. I absolutely love this minifigure, but there's just a couple of upgrades I do want to, uh, you know, just change around on him. But yeah, so without any further ado, let's go ahead into the close up. So here's a minifigure up close. Hang on, sorry, I'm still getting used to this little, uh, this whole new setup as uh, this is when you record in the studio. Um, so here's the figure. So as you can tell, it's the Batman minifigure um, in his post Arkham City suit. So it's basically the suit that he wears at the beginning of Arkham Knight before he gets his uh, main suit, which you wear throughout the majority of the game. Um, so. Probably should have mentioned that in the opening, but oh well. Um, so yeah, as I said, I've been eyeing this minifigure off for a while, and I finally got around to, uh, you know, getting this figure, and yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, it's pad printed all four sides, as you can see. So yeah, it's got the nice, it's got a custom Batman head, which I absolutely love. As you can see there. Sorry, I even only have one light, so today. So I'm just Ow. Okay, so there we are. Uh you can see he's got his armored uh suit. Like you can see all the armor on the front here, all the little bolts, the Arkham City logo, and then the belt which continues on all four sides. Which looks so good. You can see the armor also goes on all four sides. You can get the side armor there, back armor, you know, the shoulder blades, back armor, and then continues as well. Same with the legs, got this nice mesh detail, which looks so good. Got boot details all around. And these are actually printed onto just black legs, as you can see. I thought they were double molded, but no, they're actually just black legs, which they then just printed on. So. Yeah, um, one little nitpick I do have with this minifigure is that uh, in the picture it shows him having uh, one of these capes, uh, mid cape, but I mean this cape is cool, it's got a nice leathery feel, but you know, uh, kind of hoping for one of these as a, you know, I prefer these sort of capes for Batman now after seeing them, so. <laughs> um, but again, that's a small nitpick, and that's something I can just change. But, uh, yeah. Got some nice gauntlet detail. Whoops. Shoulders. Armor there. Which, um, part of the upgrade, I may paint around the rest of the forearm, just so that way it's, you know, the gauntlet goes all the way around, but yeah, very nice minifigure. So yeah, this is the post Arkham City Batman minifigure. Um, again, he's a really cool minifigure. Um, so here's a side by side with him next to my Fig Nation Arkham City Batman, which I added some modifications to, which I painted around uh, the forearms and, and added some Brick Warriors. Uh, Added some Brick Warriors, you know, um, van braces and double molded boots. So, yeah. Eventually, I do want to get the Arkham Knight, you know, suit to go with them. But that's how they look. And they look so cool together. So, yeah. So anyway, now onto some upgrades for this minifigure. I'm not going to paint around the arms in this video, as I will uh, do it afterwards, and then you know, you'll probably just see it later down the road or something. But you know, I'm just going to add a couple of things here and there for him. So 
First of all, is I want to swap out this cape, and for right now, until I can get more of these fabric capes in, I'm just going to use this electrical tape cape, which I did make. Uh, it was for my Arkham Asylum Batman minifigure, but since that minifigure isn't finished yet, uh, I'm just going to use it here for now. So. There we are, oh, and that already start, starting to look heaps better. Like I said, it was just an epic with using this shape of cape, but I just prefer the mid capes now after seeing it. So it's just it's just me, but yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I got a choice of two things. I'm either going to go with these Brick Warriors fan braces or tiny tactical glove tops. Now the reason why I'm not sure yet is because of that gauntlet printing on the arms here as you can see there so I'm gonna start off with uh, a tiny tactical glove top just putting it on There we go. So that looks pretty cool. Oh, that looks nice. And I'll just put one of these on. So there we go. Oh, that looks pretty cool as well. You know, it's off on the angle a bit. Oh. You know, that looks pretty cool as well. Again, the only problem with that is just that it covers up the nice gauntlet printing, so. Um, you know, I guess I could look into adding the fins or just not worry about it, so. I think for now I'm going to stick with the tiny tactical glove tops for this minifigure. You know, just to have him upgrade a little bit. And then, you know, again, I will be painting around the forearm just to... So that way he has a complete gauntlet. But yeah, it's really cool. I mean, if you are, I highly recommend checking them out. I'll leave a link to their eBay page down below. With that all said, let's go ahead and wrap up this minifigure. So there we have my review on my custom Labs 9 minifig post Arkham City Batman minifigure. Let me know what you think down below. Um, I highly recommend checking them out. They've got really cool minifigures. They've got like heaps of variations of Batman minifigures you can get. They have a, uh, you know, the post Arkham City Batman. They have the Rebirth Batman, Arkham Knight Batman, like in the new suit. Uh, the Tactical Batman from Justice League. You know, they have all sorts of different Batman minifigures and different, like, you know, characters in general. So, yeah, I highly recommend checking them out. So, link below to go get your own. So, yeah. So, thank you again for watching again. Um, let me know what you think of this new studio. You know, I like recording this a lot better now. So, I just got to get a new, like, tripod because this thing I've got my phone set up on is all flimsy at the moment. So, you know, um, just upgrade it but yes now i'm sitting on the floor and doing videos <laughs> but yeah so thanks again for watching come like subscribe share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video which uh will probably be my transformers studio series vw gold bug figure as i'm working on a new transformers figure and then probably have megatron starscream coming up soon as well and maybe sideswipe so i've got a few transformers figures i'm um, working on at the moment so hopefully that videos for them will be coming out soon so uh, finally got a new you know studio to record them in but uh yeah so thanks for watching again make sure to check out my instagrams down below and i'll see you guys next time all right